distracted driver saw something strange near Robinson Park and called 911. There's a man uh, has his arm around a lady's neck. He's trying to force her into her into his car, and she's screaming against him. He says he saw 33-year-old Rafael Molina Jr. drive off in a black SUV with that woman in tow. Police say he kidnapped her. Officers spotted the car six minutes later. APD says Molina stopped briefly but then took off, so they started to chase him. Vehicle just blew a stop sign. You can see part of that pursuit on this police lapel video. This officer takes turns to catch up to the suspects, and six minutes later, he does, arriving to the sound of gunshots. Stop fire, PD. Show me your hands! APD says these two officers, Cornell Heitzman and Carlos Hernandez, fired their guns. Both are now on administrative leave, which is standard while the department investigates. What you don't see is lapel camera video from the two officers actually involved in the shooting. A department spokesperson tells me it does exist, but neither of those officers have been interviewed yet. However, APD says they have reviewed the lapel cameras from Heitzman and Hernandez and say it does appear that Molina raised a gun at the two officers. I got the gun. You can see the gun. I got the gun. Yeah. Let's move. I'm behind you, moving up, moving up. Let's move up. Let's move up, move up, move up, move up, move up. This gun right here is the one police say Molina pointed at officers and is only one part of this active investigation. In Albuquerque, I'm Kirsten Swanson, KOAT Action 7 News. Two explosions in Las Cruces are causing people to take a closer look at church safety. New video shows the moment one device went off on Sunday at Holy Cross.